So, good day everyone. Our topic for today is exercise set 1.3 on your mathematics in the modern world subject math 1. That is page 20. Okay. So, let's answer number 1. So, number 1. Blood had a summer job packing switch. Its pack should weigh 200 grams. Vlad had to make 15 packs of sweets. He checked the weights in grams, correct to the nearest gram. Following are his measurements. So the measurement is 212, 206, 203, 206. 119, 196, 197, 197, 209, 206, 196, 191, 196, 206, and 207. The question is, what? is the most frequent data. Okay? So what is the most frequent data? Okay? So question mark. Okay? So the most frequent data or the frequency of the given data is the number or the input data that appears most frequently. Okay, so that is what we call the frequency of the data. So let's check. 112 is 1. Uh, 106 is 1, 2, 3, 206 is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so 206 is 1, Two, three, four. Okay, so the most frequent data in the given inputs of data okay, is 206. So therefore, your answer is 206. That is your answer. Okay. So the next question is number two. Number two. Let's read number two. Number two. A certain study found, okay, so number two, solution, let's treat the problem. A certain study found that the relationship between the student's exam score, so why is the exam score? And the number of hours they spend spent studying is x okay so number of hours spent studying so hours spent studying is given by the equation y equals to 10x plus 45 so meaning this is your formula okay using this information what will be the estimated score of the student who spent four hours of study? So the given is, given is four hours of studying. So X is equals to four hours. So to solve for the exam score, we simply substitute the value of X to our formula. Okay, so substitute. So we have y equals to 10 times 4 plus 45 and the answer is 10 times 4 that is 40 plus 45 and your answer is 85. Okay, so this is the score of the student who spent 4 hours study. Okay, the next for number 3. Okay, so number 3. Let's read number three. <clears throat> so 
So number three, number three is the distance traveled by an object. Okay, so number three. Number three, that is number three. The distance traveled by an object given its initial velocity and acceleration over a period of time is given by the formula D equals B sub zero T plus one half AT squared. Find the distance traveled by an airplane before it takes off if it starts from rest, take note, it starts from rest and accelerates down a runway at 3.50 meters per second for 34.5 seconds. Okay, so let's solve number three. Okay, so this is number three. So solution for number three. So the formula is given by D is equals to B sub zero or your initial velocity times time plus one half times A, which is your acceleration times time squared. So this is your formula. Okay. So the given, the given at the airplane. Before it takes off, it starts from rest. So meaning, B sub zero, if an airplane starts at rest, then meaning its velocity is zero meters per second. That is your velocity. So B sub zero is zero. Then time is 34.5 seconds. And the acceleration is given by 3.50 meters per second squared. Okay? So we simply substitute this given to our formula. Okay? So let's substitute D is equals to B sub 0 is 0. So 0 times time is 34.5 seconds plus one half times your acceleration which is 3.5 meters per second square times your time is 34.5 second and then square so meaning square second square second square cancel out your answer will be in meters, okay? Zero times 34.5 and it just will be zero. So therefore, D, your distance D is equals to three point five meters times thirty four point five squared and that will be equal to 1,000, okay, 1,190.25 divided by 2 and your answer is 4,165.875 meters. Okay, so this is your answer. Or in kilometers, D is equals to 4165.875 meters times 1 kilometer over 1000 meters. So meters and meters cancel. So your answer is 4.165875 kilometers. Okay? So I hope you understand the discussion.